YouTube back with another video again. Big Bear Boxing Squad. You see who up on the screen. It's of course Stevenson against Gary Russell. Um, more of a fantasy matchup, man. They was talking about this fight back in 20, 20, 2020, um, I think. Uh, so it's been a few, uh, about to be two years ago, man. Um, depends on what month it was. But yeah, they was talking about this this fight um, a while back. I think it'd be a good fight for Gary Russell. Um, the, as a combat fight, um, the, you know, Stevenson, man, he's just a technician and Gary Russell got some of the fastest hands in boxing. Um, he's one of the longest reigning, uh, lightweight champions, um, you know, or, or just champions period in boxing. So, you know, I think it'd be an interesting matchup. Um, you know, get down to it to, you know, statistics, both of them have, uh, amazing records. Um, Gary Russell only lost once. Um, Shakur Stevens haven't lost. Um, you know, both of them look very sharp. I think the only time Gary Russell lost was to Lomachenko. Um, but, you know, we all know what Lomachenko bring to the table. Um, I, I would like to see a rematch. I would love to see a, a Gary Russell uh, Lomachenko rematch. Um, but, you know, I think that uh, Gary Russell he fights at 126. Or one, I think it's like 126. He can move up, you know, four more pounds and get to 130. Um, I'm pretty sure he walks around maybe 140, 145, somewhere like that. Um, you know, but I, I think it it'll be for an interesting um, matchup. Um, I think both of them are superstars. I think that uh, Shakur Stevenson is sitting, he's sitting on a pinnacle to where if he would take a fight or if they could agree or get this fight going, um, I think it could work in, I think it'd be a good loss for Gary Russell. Um, I, I wouldn't say that it would be a good loss for Shakur Stevenson because I'm pretty sure the odds makers would pick Shakur Stevenson to win the fight. But I think it, it wouldn't be a bad of a loss because Gary Russell is not in this weight division. Um, he's just a few pounds up under lightweight, uh, super lightweight, whatever it is. But uh, he's he's just a few pounds away. So, you know, he wouldn't lose a belt or whatever. Um, but it will be it will be a showcase. I don't think anybody would turn, a, you know, turn away from another Gary Russell fight. Um you know, he's not active enough. I wish we could see him more. I wish we could see him to, you know, get in there and get the big fights with the Devin Haney's and move up a couple, you know, a couple pounds here and there um, to get those bigger fights. Uh, like I said, him and Loma, that would be a really good matchup with, with them too. But, uh, you know, just a, a short breakdown of, of this fight. Um, I do think that Shakur Stevenson will win the fight, obviously. Um, you know, that's who I'm going with. Um, I think he got... He, he's not as fast, but I think he's he's a little bit sharper. Um, I think he can use his size, his reach advantage, um, which is you know uh, four inches. Uh, I think he he got he got a lot of other things in the bag that he can use tricks and stuff, distance. Um, I think Gary Russell uh, in a couple of fights that I've seen him in, he, he get he get pretty tired in the, in the later rounds. Um, you know, going twelve round, thirty six minutes, man, that's 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 a long task. Um, you know, and especially being as fast as he is, so. Um, I feel like if Gary Russell could contain some of that speed and uh, kind of kind of control his pace or whatever, he could keep up easy. Uh, these these guys are professional athletes, so anything is possible. But um, I just, I just think overall, man, Stevenson probably had too much in the bag. Um, you know, do I think this fighter end in a knockout? I think that Gary Russell is a, a, a good uh, strong fighter. Um, I think he's he's durable. He, he got, I think he got knocked down a couple times in the Loma fight, but he got back up. He didn't get knocked out. He didn't get stopped or anything. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I'm pretty sure he didn't get stopped. Um, but, ah, man, do I see a knockout? I don't know. I think it would be a good, good 12 rounds. Um, I don't really see a knockout, really. But, like I say, anything is possible. Stevenson, and he's kind of growing into that, that man zone when you start getting that man power, that grown man strength. Um, but, like I say, man, he's a very, very talented boxer, man. And, uh, you know, he's spoiled with Terrence Crawford. You know who, who Terrence Crawford is and what he brings to the table. So, being around him all day, you know, I'm pretty sure he, he's picking his brain and stuff like that. Um, and he's more active than Gary Russell. So, I, I you know, you, you kind of have to give it to Stevens, uh, Stevenson. Um, I think you got the footwork to stay away from Gary Russell's speed. Um, I think that I think he he get put to the test a little a little bit. Um, you know I think he got excellent defense and, and distance and 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 you know he know how to keep his range. Uh, I think Gary Russell, 
I think he can land some good shots on him. Um, you know, I don't think he'll do anything to hurt him or anything, but I, I do think he got a lot of speed. You know, anybody with that type of speed, it's kind of hard to stay away from him. Um, but let's get into this video. But before we do, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below of who you want me to uh, break down. Um, if you want me to get more in depth, I may start doing uh, debates and stuff like that. Um, I may start going live. It's a couple other things I got in mind for this channel, man, to make it a little bit different, more, more on boxing. Um, I will be talking about some of the drama in boxing, but not, not to the point like his other channels and stuff like that. But, you know, I want to focus on the, the art of boxing. Um, you know, I had somebody in my comment section, you know, I was like, yeah, you talk about all these other channels and stuff like that. You know, you can't please everybody. Um, you know, I, I just want a good, solid channel. I want something that's different. I want something that's um, talking about different things and stuff like that. But, you know, it's kind of hard to get away from the drama and stuff like that. Um, I think that boxing needs to have be more of a UFC type of thing, but still have the boxing the way they do it. Um, you know, UFC, you know, you, you got all kind of champions and stuff like that. The best always fight the best. Boxing, you kind of get, if you got one man with the, with the, championship belts he get to run around or do whatever you know and the best don't really fight the best um you know they fighting some guy guy that just showed up you know you a lot of these fighters kind of hard because boxers coming in and out every day so um you know these young young guys come up you're like oh okay who is this just like i didn't even know who pitbull cruz was um and i and i, I watched boxing a good bit um you know anytime i see free fights or whatever or, or pay-per-view if it's got somebody good on the card i'm, I'm probably pretty um pretty familiar with most of the boxers that's on there. But, uh, you know, I had to go back and, and study Pitbull. You know, I'd be lying if I said I knew who he was. Uh, but he's a hell of a fighter. So, you know, shout outs to, to, to a new star. Uh, I think he did a really good job against Tank Davis. Um, but, you know, we know what Tank Davis brings to the table. Just He's just different. Um, but, you know, Shakur, Tank Davis versus, you know, Devin Haney, Lomachenko, those are the fights that I'm sure everybody wants to see. Um, but let's get into this video, man. Like I say, please like, share, comment, subscribe, man. I, can, I can't do it without you. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to like or share um, or sus uh, uh, subscribe, man. Um, this channel is doing very well, man. Like I say, I, I jumped back into it. My subscribers and, and viewership went up. Um, my views on each video, they, they doing really good, man. They doing way better than when I took a hiatus from doing it. Um, like I said, my, I was in a totally different zone but this time I can concentrate on how to do it, uh, you know, bringing it about as a, as a totally different type of boxing channel. Yes, you get to see the game and the breakdown, but the game is the visual. Um, you know, I like to keep the visuals alive, uh, keep it different, keep it smooth. Um, well, it is, it's smooth, but I like to keep it, like I say, I like to be different. Shout out to everybody that's got a boxing channel, care who it is, what you're talking about, everybody doing their thing. Um, and, and it's just fun watching a lot of channels out there. So shout out to everybody that's got a boxing channel, man. Um, sometimes that's how I keep up with my news too, other than uh, reading and, and, and Googling and stuff like that. A lot of times, you know, these guys do a really good job keeping up with every single story. So um, shout outs to everybody. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this video. Let me know what you think. And all, oh yeah, uh, social media, all my social media platforms that I'm on will be down in links below. Um, I have a more in-depth um, breakdown of this fight uh, in my description. So please go read that. You can comment on it. Tell me if I made a mistake or what, if you disagree or whatever. Um, you know, get those debates going, man. That's what this channel is all about, man. Debating breakdowns and stuff like that. So let's get into it. Well, good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And welcome to the MGM Grands here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of lightweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Sugar's making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. 
12. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Sugar's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and punches. The combination lands. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Not precise at all by Russell. Halfway through this round here. Sugar's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Not much action as he just ties up. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Accurate hook. Sugar's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Solid shot, the overhand left. Super two-punch combo by Sugar. A good block. Off target with that hook. Sugar's got that accuracy, and it paid off in the last round. Here we go. Round two is underway. Able to dismiss that body shot. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Good job with another left hand. Able to show you his blocking ability. Good smooth work by Sugar. That's classic counterpunching. You know, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Offensively landing that combination by Sugar. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Sugar's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Rushing two punch combo by Sugar. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Little head knocking with that right hand. That's a forceful two punch combo by Sugar. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Sugar's sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting them to come out of his castle. He wants them to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. Russell's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. He Sugar's really working well. That last round, he was accurate. Look at the punch numbers. Comes right back with a shot of his own. And a well-placed counter by Sugar. Sugar's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Punch there. Defense easily turns into offense. 
Locks him low, sends an uppercut. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. He missed with that headshot. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. And that's a fine work right there by Sugar. Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. Russell's punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices it. Russell's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Good solid overhand left. Very nice defensive guard there. Sugar's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And that's the end of round three. Sure fight. Don't get lazy up there, all right? Well, with three rounds complete here, it's worth a look at Teddy's scorecard to see where he sees it. It doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave it open. Good job on the two-punch combo by Sugar. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. Russell's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Listen, I need some more punches, okay? Whatever. Round number five has arrived. Good exchange. He fires back. Russell's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Sugar. Sugar doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. No, he missed that right. time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Oh, 
A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Well off the mark by Sugar. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Kenny, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going to watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. There's the combo downstairs. Sugar's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. Russell's punch didn't come close. Returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Halfway through round six. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. the body shot. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, an explosive head shot there. He is down. One, two, three, four, five. Russell's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming minutes of this fight. Targeted counter punch by Sugar. Ten clicks of the top. Good combination to the head. Sugar's just bubbling over with confidence now. Hey, that happens when you score a knockdown in the last round. Yeah, it does. I mean, that's nothing great than that. I mean, that's like somebody, that's like your boss coming to say, hey, here's a bonus out of nowhere. You feel pretty darn good. Is our boss coming to do that? <laughs> no, they don't do that. Oh, come on. Russell's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you gotta go out there, you gotta prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You gotta prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember, this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. And now another left. Stay away from them. Missed that uppercut. Halfway through the seventh round. On the mark with a straight left hand. He scored well after being hit himself.
Austin Prime for Power Surge here. Knockout winner. to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it that does it from ringside for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us